Hi, it's me, CJ. It's Friday, October 22nd. Hi. Hi. And Kiki was like, have you vlogged? And I was like, no. And he was like, you gotta vlog. Cause he's my manager. Not much going on, not a lot of reading going on. Animal Crossing is getting updated. Don't know if you saw the free update news, you probably did. And I'm preparing my island for that. And it's a lot of work. Okay, people? I would listen listen to audiobooks while I'm doing that, but audiobook narrators sound so terrible that I can't do it. I've tried a couple times. Do we have any big plans for the weekend, Keeks? I know. Okay, well, one plan that we're doing is taking the truck in for a painting estimate. That's true. So that'll be cool. That's fun. There's a plan. And maybe look around for a Halloween costume. Because mm. Halloween's next weekend. Yeah. We don't know what we're gonna be. I think we're gonna be people from True Blood. Which we're almost done watching. Like 10 more episodes left and then it'll finally be over. What are we eating tonight for dinner? I don't know. That's actually a really good question. Yeah. Like I feel <laughs> like we could go Indian food, Thai food, or sandwiches. As far as what book I'm reading, or more so not reading, I'm reading The Corrections. Oh my god! I swear my yawning only increases when I'm on camera. I don't know why that is. I think it's a psychological response to let more oxygen into your brain when you have anxiety. I read that once. Um, might have not been true, but maybe that's why I'm yawning. Anyway, I'm reading The Corrections by Jonathan Franzen, and I'm really liking it so far. I'm only like two chapters in, but the voice is so funny. We're like following two people in their like late 60s now who've been married for a long time and they're just miserable and I'm loving it. They're about to go on a cruise. But yeah, Friday at 5.30, wrapping up the week. Hi guys, um, it's Saturday. We just went and got a quote to get the truck painted. We're in the truck right now, we're driving. Uh, a little more than I was anticipating. I feel like I'm gonna be honest about finances with you guys throughout this journey, because I think that would be interesting. Um, the truck itself was $4,500, which I think is a good deal, I guess. For, for any car, really? For a car, for yeah. For a car that runs? For a car that runs, I feel <laughs> like that's good. Um, bought it outright, so we're like not making payments on it, you know? And the paint drop quote we just got was for $2,100. to buy the car but we've gotten a lot of quotes online and they've ranged from like four to eight thousand dollars which is insane um even after explaining to auto shops like no like we don't want it like completely perfect it's just like an aesthetic new color change uh, but there's a lot of time and labor that goes into painting cars so i understand the price but we just went to mako which is like a chain um and we got a quote there for 2100 which is less than the other quotes we've gotten. I wish I could spend like $1,200 max on it. But that's not gonna happen. Uh, I might call another Mako that's open on Monday to get another quote from them. And then like just do it a couple more quote gathering to see. But we really liked the guy we talked to and um, this might just be what it cost, which kind of sucks but it might just be what it is, you know? It's like a big investment, but like the truck being cute is like part of the whole thing, you know? And it definitely needs a paint job. So that's interesting. Um, I did get a quote from a vinyl wrap place and I think they said it would be like 1500 to vinyl wrap it. But he, the vinyl wrap guy was like, I don't recommend that though. I think it would, the $500 to get it painted. Yeah, I think like it'd be hard and like some of the scratches would be buffed out, so I understand that. Uh, final wrap is like more for new cars. So that's our Sunny's update today. Now we're gonna go do errands. 
he's a pro stick shift driver now. Okay, bye. Back from errands. This is Billeth, by the way. Don't know if we've introduced you to him, but he's seven feet tall, lives inside. I'm having leftover Thai curry for lunch with tofu. If you have any bomb at home Thai curry recipes, let me know. I feel like every time I make it, it is never flavorful enough and doesn't taste authentic in the slightest. But it's one of my fave foods. And it's basically like a soup that Kiki is willing to eat. So if anyone has any recipe suggestions, let me know. Hi everyone, this is a sandwich I'm eating for dinner. Really cool vlog content. Can you hear Kiki's video game music in the background? Okay, bye. Hey, it's Sunday morning. Yesterday we did some stuff, which you saw. And then we got sandwiches for dinner, and then we came home and we played video games, and we watched the basketball game, and we hung out. But what I didn't show you was that we went to a couple Goodwills yesterday, and Maggie is barfing up water, if you hear that. You okay? Okay. Went to a couple Goodwills yesterday, and we started our book, used book sourcing journey. I got five books yesterday. Um, I think the plan is to continue going to Goodwills to source things, but we're also going to like three or four library sales over the course of the winter that are hosted in Oregon. I've never been before to a library sale because why would I have been? Um, but there's like supposed to be thousands and thousands of books and they're all like 50, 50 cents each. So I think that'll be really cool. Yeah, I don't really know how else used bookstores get inventory. <laughs> um, but we're gonna be selling used and new books at Sunny's for like affordable prices, you know? Make it accessible. I'll show you what I got. I'll show you my first five books. We got Red Clocks by Lenny Zumas. This is a dystopian sci-fi novel about if abortion was outlawed in America. Usually a little too plotty for my taste, but um, blurbed really well. 10th of December, classic George Saunders short story collection. Fates and Furies by Lauren Groff. A Visit from the Goon Squad by Jennifer Egan. I've never read this and I really want to. And then I found this vintage copy of The Master and Margarita, which I've also always wanted to read. Um, look at that cover. It's fun, right? <laughs> Is that a chicken? It is one of my favorite kinds of chickens, yes. Okay. Look at my freaking Halloween decorations on my island. Pretty cool. Pretty cool if I must say myself so if this is <laughs> pretty cool if I must say so myself. Say so. <laughs> uh I'm waiting till eleven twenty five when Kiki's done painting and we can go get brunch. I mean, that does look pretty good. Do you want to see what I got today? Back in my sweatpants. I wanted one of these for a while. Like a military surplus jacket, you know? I want to wear it with like an all white outfit, an all black outfit. Very versatile. Got it on a new, at a new vintage store in Mississippi. Pretty cheap. These are like everywhere. If you have an army supply, if you have an army supply, supply? Is that how you say that word? Surplus? Surplus. Uh, store, look there. You'll definitely have them for cheaper than I paid a vintage picker to get it. But. Here's my duvet trick, okay? You turn the duvet inside out. You live duvet on your bed also should be easy then you go in your duvet that you just turned inside out and grab the two top corners like this and then you grab one end you grab the other end and you turn it inside out
Do you think this is the first time we've deep cleaned the fridge? Uh, yeah. <laughs> I mean, I've cleaned it, but not crazy. I think once every four years is probably <laughs> pretty reasonable. It's not even that oh. bad. It's the worst. I don't know. It's pretty gross. It's not gross. It's just a fridge, man. Show them the fridge, man. Hey guys, Kiki deep cleaned the fridge today. Y'all wanna see it or what? I mean, it is clean. Do you think we have enough soda water? We buy four 12 packs a week because we're sick in the head. I mean, he got in there. He soaped and watered and took every shelf out. Let's hear it for Kiki, everyone. the vlog because it's been a weird one so whoa <laughs> have I talked about books no am I reading yes I just finished you will never be forgotten by Sarah South which is a collection of short stories that Jalen got for me uh, overall really really liked a few of them and then I like skipped reading one that I couldn't hang with. It was like a metaphor about Star Wars kind of and like fan culture, but I just like could not stay engaged. And then another few are fine. Uh, creepy, spooky, kind of about like the internet and technology, liked him. And now I'm reading The Corrections by Jonathan Franzen, which is really good. It's about a Midwestern family um three kids two aging parents how they're navigating these next chapters of their lives and different topical themes that are arising how they're dealing with sex secrets aging uh familial ties you know the whole thing so i first jonathan franzen and i'm really liking it so far the writing is wry yeah i'll describe it as wry really smart, really like contextual, referential of a bunch of things in pop culture. Um, and feels like super contemporary. I think this is his most famous book. So all good things so far. I'm probably like 100 pages in and I'm really liking that. And I think I'm going to pick up After the Sun, which is by Jonas something. I know Ben, Ben Green really liked that book. And this is kind of a chunkier novel that I'm getting through, and I've been Nick liking. Jonas. Huh? Nick Jonas? Yeah, by Nick Jonas. Nice. I've been liking reading short stories before bed, as opposed to my novel. But that's it. It's been a, a weekend. It has been a weekend. Love you. Mean it. Bye.